Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial, this time of BTD5. So, uh, I've been exchanging some comments with uh, a guy in the, my past video about the temples and the sacrifices and what sacrifices were better for the temples and he uh, commented uh, by just giving me a lot of numbers um, and saying that there are a lot of guides online about the sacrifices so I searched on the internet and I found this guide on Ninja Kiwi uh, and uh, I go I'm gonna put the link in the comments below and I think that's a pretty legit uh, guide and uh, it's pretty well done but I think that in BTD5 mobile the things are slightly different from what they say uh, so from the PC version, in the mobile version, a lot of stuff is different. For example, just saying the first thing I can, I think about is uh, if you get a wrench, so an engineer activated ability, so the overclock, and you have an MAB. Uh, I don't know here. And then you have, I don't know, a Spectre. Watch this. So now the Spectre, watch the attack speed of the Spectre. Now I'm gonna overclock the Spectre. So now the attack speed is higher, right? But if I use the MAB ability, the attack speed of the Spectre is not gonna change. It's gonna be the same. So here in the mobile version, the overclock ability and the MAB ability don't stack with each other. So that's sad, um, but that's what happens in the mobile. Just one thing here to uh, to explain to you. So a lot of stuff is different from the PC version, from the Steam version, you know. And uh, talking about the tempos, so returning about that, I found in this guide that the best tempo with the most damage is achieved in this way. So I'm going to just place the super monkey. It's going to become a temple. The guide says you have to get three mortars. Three mortars, three zero. So I'm going to get them. I'm going to upgrade them now. So four zero, just four zero. Okay. Okay, here we go. Then one ice tower, Um, four zero two. So let's get it four zero, then one glue, four zero, uh, one apprentice, four zero, and then it says one village, uh, four two, and one super monkey, one one. Here we go. So that is, according to the guide, the best um, the best temple possible that you can achieve in every difficulty. And uh, so what I, I want to do here is I want to check with you guys if this strategy here is better than my strategy. And my strategy that is, involves getting a 3-2 and 2-3 tower for every uh, upgrade. So for example, I'm gonna use the mortars, but Mortals getting three, two, two, three, then getting two ice towers, one, three, two, and one, two, three, and so on. And let's see if the damage is gonna be better or it's gonna be the same. So that's the tempo. I'm gonna get now the epic range. I'm gonna try out here with uh, one mob. Let's see where the balloons are destroyed. I'm gonna then try out with one BFP and one oh my god. Okay. So. The balloons were destroyed here, so they couldn't even pass this first turn for the mob. Let's see the BFB. The same also, the balloons reached this side here. Pretty, a lot of, a lot of damage. Let's see the BFB here. Okay, so if I saw correctly, the balloons reached this side here. Uh, some balloons were stopped here. So that's the best 
temple according to the guide uh, and let, showing off again a zoom I got let's see carefully where the blooms yeah there yeah yeah for here okay so that's the temple from the guide I'm gonna do the same now but I'm gonna try out my strategy okay so I'm gonna use the mortars though uh, so here 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 we go I'm gonna get one mortar three two and the other one two three then um, ice towers three two and two three glue gunner three two and two three the apprentice three two and two three and then super monkeys so uh, three two and two three here we go let's get the temple let's get the epic range and let's see let's compare the damage so the mob were also stopped here so the difference the same uh, amount of damage really the bfp2 uh, it was stopped here before the first turn but the really difference is going to be seen here in the zone god let's see which if the best tower of the game is better and pops the zoom I got better faster than mine or is not and as you can see it's not so the balloons were stopped here or I think it's the in the same spot let's go again so I'm gonna show you show it to you again oh yeah so the balloons were stopped here so the um, the same amount of uh, of damage I would say between the two temples um, but now let's compare the prices so I have my uh, calculator here so according to the guide you need three mortars for zero the and they cost uh, 750 in this case so 150 plus the first upgrade that is 200 the second one is 600 the third one is 800 and the last one is 10 uh, K okay. okay and this is multiplied three times because there are three mortars so three times then then we have one ice tower for zero so it's gonna be 300 plus 225 plus 400 plus 6500 plus 6000 zero, zero, zero. We go. We're already in 50k cash. Uh, then we have the glue. The glue that cost uh, 270 plus 200 plus 300 plus 3300. Zero, zero plus 12500 zero, zero. 67k then we have the apprentice 240 so the apprentice cost 580 uh, plus 315 plus 1260 plus 2100 plus 
84.00. Here we go, 79.7k. Then we have a village for two. So the village cost uh, 16 0 um, plus 500 plus 115.00 plus 10k plus 12k plus 900 plus 2k here we go and we got also one super monkey one one so super monkey cost uh, 35 zero and then we have plus 35 zero zero plus 1k total 100 I'm writing it down 116 so 100 116 um, thousand two hundred I don't know 116 116,200 it's it, it's spelled correctly I don't know how it's how to spell it so 100k, 116k, 200, yeah, something like that. I don't know how it's spelled, but the number is 116200, okay? Then let's check out, though, now the amount of money that cost getting my upgrades. So going my strategy that I repeat again, the strategy gives the temple has the same amount of damage so even though i didn't know how to get the most powerful temple according to the guide i already did it so that's one thing nice to me so the mortar cost 750 plus 200 plus 600 plus 800 plus 250 plus 500 that's the first one then there is the mortar uh, 2 3 so now it's plus 750 because it's another mortar plus 200 oops plus 600 plus 250 plus 500 plus 500 here we go mortars are done then uh, I have ice towers so ice towers cost 300 uh, 225 plus 225 plus 400 plus 6 65 plus 100 plus 350 here we go the first one the second one is 300 again plus 225 plus 400 plus 100 plus 350 plus 200 to 2000 okay uh, let's get the glue the glue cost 270 so plus 200 plus 300 plus 3300 plus 120 plus 2200 that's the first one let's check the second one so 270 plus 200 plus 300 plus 120 plus 2200 plus 3250. Okay, 
uh, apprentice too. So uh, the apprentice cost 580 plus 315 plus 1260 plus 2100 plus 315 plus 315. Here we go. The first one, the second one, uh, plus 580 plus 315 plus 1260 plus uh, 315 plus 315 plus 441 4, 4410 okay here we go and then i got the last upgrades that i think is where is here when the cost gets really high so uh what i'm gonna do with the super monkeys so three 3500 plus 3500 Um, yes, plus 5,000, plus 1650, 16,500, plus 1,000, plus 115, oh, okay, that's the first one, second one, again, 3500, plus 3500 plus 5000 plus 1000 plus 1500 plus 9k. 9c, 9, 9k. Here we go. Total cost 96.96k 96 460. So, guys, my tempo was strong as strong as the temple that the guide says is the strongest in the game uh, and i even didn't know that when i built my best temple and with my uh, setup the temple cost roughly 20k less cash than having the temple as they say it to be so definitely guys I know this is a bit uh, uh, maybe proudly, but I mean, I really like to enjoy the game and to find out strategies and all the stuff by myself. And here I really surprised myself because uh, I got the temple as strong as the guide says, it is the most strongest and with um, and cheaper. So. <laughs> A cheaper temple but that is as strong as the other one so what can i say here to conclude the video uh nothing so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and always try by yourself your own strategies your own stuff because so many times the guides are helpful but they're not everything uh, try by yourself and you're you're gonna get surprised of how good you can get just by improving by yourself so hope you guys enjoyed and see ya bye bye